okay, sorry about that. Video number two, <laughs> we're gonna try to pick up where we left off. Um, so Peggy had shown us um, the Kimberbell Cuties table toppers and we had started to say that that is um, a class that's gonna go on all year. We did start in January and, um, and it'll go through June for the first six months. We still have the first six months, so you can um, certainly get kits and the patterns and everything. And then the second six months, the July through December, um, is getting ready to come. I think it'll be here toward the end of this month, um, or maybe first part of June for the pattern, and then we are kitting those as well. So they meet the fourth Friday, and they sew in class. So it's an all-day class, so we'd love to have you join us on that one. Okay, so your show and tell's done? Yes. Okay, so we're going to move to Cindy and um, we're going to have you show us um, what, uh, what maybe your favorites and show us some other things that you have brought. This is one of my favorites. My favorite line, I eyed this as soon as oh, it came yes. in and I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't know what I'm going to do. I didn't want to jump on the chandelier bandwagon, but guess what? <laughs> it <laughs> shows it off perfectly. Mm -hmm. So the chandelier um, was a free pattern from a free Missouri pattern Star, right? From Missouri Star through Lola Boutique. But and so how many of these quilts have you done, this pattern? Two, two, okay. only two so far. <laughs> I don't know why, it just seems like she would bring another one, <laughs> or maybe it's just because she'd look at a line and go, oh, that would look really good in the chandelier that's pattern. That's probably what it is, especially <laughs> the country rose. Yes. You know, that's what I saw. And this line is just fantastic. I think yes. this was a Riley Blake line, though, It right? is. American yeah. Dream, yeah. Yeah, it's American so pretty. Dream. Oh, look at the back of it. Look at the back. So, yeah, one of my So this favorites. is, um, this looks like it was piece, but this is a cheater cloth. Um, I know, sorry, <laughs> but I just love it because, um, you know, on the video, I'm sure it looks like, you, you know, that you did it. And I love quilts that look like you spent way more time on them than you did. But this is so great. So we don't, I don't think we have, if any of this line, we left, have a few maybe a little things. bit. We have one layer cake, I think. I do believe that we have um, ordered a couple of lines that that are very similar, they very. have the same feel, they're, they're patriotic-ish, um, um, floral, and just really, really pretty. And sweet. Sweet. <laughs> and sweet. sweet. Yeah. Oh, I guess so. So this is your favorite. It's one of my favorites, yep. definitely. All right, so we'll move this out of the way. So again, going from Regular <laughs> quilting, <laughs> piecing, because when I before I started working here, Beth asked me because I went to go buy a sewing machine. Do you want to do embroidery? No, I don't want to do that. In my <laughs> mind, it was hand embroidery. That's the way it was gonna look. So I'm like, nah, not for me. Started working here. Started seeing the Kimberbell stuff. Got into Kimberbell. <laughs> bought a machine for a Kimberbell. <laughs> And then Denise also was like, well, you know, what about quilt labels? Because I'm like, I don't like the look of them. So all my quilts are embroidered on the back as my quilt label. Yes. So I don't have, I only have it on that one so far. But Okay, well, we can show that you one. You know. So now, after embroidery, I went to quilt in the hoop. <laughs> so it's my first t-shirt quilt. And then my second or third quilt in the hoop is what I've been doing. Yep. <coughs> it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time, but it looks great. You know, it looks great. You can, you're doing all of your stuff. You're mm -hmm. piecing, you're quilting, you're putting it together. You know, you're labeling it. You're doing all of that. Yeah. So a lot of people don't realize that um, machine embroidery is not only um, the, like the fun, applique in the hoop, like Kimberbell's stuff. It, um, it also can be used to quilt your own quilts. And like Cindy said, it is a lot of work because you have to stitch it and then re-hoop it, but mm -hmm. it looks like it's been long arm quilted or free motion quilted, um, and it looks fantastic. I just love it. Yeah, love, you just love. have to have the patience, and you don't have to do it all at one time. You know, I do a few hours here and there, or I'll do one or two rows or columns, and then 
from there I stop I'll do something else binding ironing something and then just come back to it or mm -hmm. if you get frustrated you know you well know. And they're making it easier all the time yes. because of the magnetic hoops um, which you can order through us too um, they so you don't have to unhoop it necessarily you can slide it through the magnetic hoop um, yeah yeah so it's a really yep I haven't used one yet we'll fun, see mm -hmm. fun 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 Okay, and I did tell them that I was going to, oh, did you have something else? Mm. Your bag. Oh, your bag. Show your bag. <laughs> My suitcase. <laughs> yes. This line came in and Cindy was like, oh, I'm going to do this. And then there was four others. Yes. Four others that joined <laughs> in. I'll hold yeah. this doesn't have my buttons on there yet it's not one of my top priorities <laughs> but I mean this she brought all of her show and tell in it this bag is yeah. huge and you turn and it around it and it's, it's got the panel what happens at quilt retreat stays at quilt retreat and I quilted it in the hoop as well <laughs> yes so this is this is um, just fantastic and such a big uh, quilt lots of storage um, and we still have cutting panels. mat, the yep. rulers, we, yep. cutting mats Fun. and rulers. Mm -hmm. So while you're still standing here, I had asked them um, to show their favorite notion, and hers just happens to be here uh, in her pocket. <laughs> so I'll take your bag, and you share that what that is. It's called the Big Easy Ruler. It's twelve and a half by twenty-four and a half. And it's really good if you have small workspaces like dining room table and you're cutting out your, um, straightening out your quilt and everything, you have more room to hold on to it. And you know, you can have it hanging off the side. It's not going to be going anywhere because of the grips on the bottom. And it just, it makes a world of difference. I like this better than my six and a half by 24. And your hands are kind of out of the way, so you're not going to roll over your fingers. Right. That's love that. That's good. And Peggy, do you have a favorite notion? Um, I like to use the clapper a lot. Um, this is when you're working with really thick seams, which I do a lot with the Kimberbell because you've got three or four layers. You have a layer of batting, stabilizer, and then your top quilt top and quilt back or whatever. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to lightly press your seam and then you're going to put this immediately right on it. You can even clap it a little, that's why they call it a clapper, or you can just press down on it and it helps that heat just go right into that seam and it keeps that heat there. Um, and you don't have to hold it too long, but it really helps flatten those seams and like when you have a, any quilt block where yeah. maybe a pinwheel or whatever, when you have lots of seams coming together, it's really good for that, really good for pressing seams open too. So I use my clapper a lot. Nice. Yeah. All right, are we ready for rapid fire? Oh, sure. Which they're like, hmm, what's that? <laughs> we have to doctor. <laughs> so I'm gonna, yes, you guys stand next to each other and um, I'm just gonna throw things out at you and you guys can answer at the same time. And it's basically an either or. Um, some are quilt related, some uh, most are not quilt related. So we just find out a little bit more about them. Um, ready? Sure. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Tea. <laughs> Dog or cat? Dog. <laughs> Both cat though, I guess. <laughs> Beach or mountain? Mountain. Beach. Oh. You're in the wrong place, Sydney. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, read a book or watch TV? Um. TV. TV. I can multitask. <laughs> TV. Yeah. Sweet or salty? Both. Uh, salty and then sweet. I really love sweet, but then started working yeah. here and you come up with, I mean, <laughs> I didn't even like dark chocolate and now, <laughs> <laughs> and then they bring in sweet and salty and I'm just like, oh. Yeah. We do like to keep them uh, nourished. Okay. Wash or no wash? No, no. wash. Too much to do. Yeah. No wash. No wash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you two for um, letting me interview you, letting everybody get to know you guys a little bit better. And um, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>